Hey, hey, you know, my voice is still got, um, there really ain't nothing I can do about it. At least I can talk now. I couldn't talk for a good bit. The original plans I had for today, the con somehow got moved to cancel, so I couldn't go to the con. I'm trying to figure out what to talk to you all about and what to do. So I just decided, let's do makeup and have a talk. Hi again, my name is Insight. I told you all. I'll show you the pictures from uh, Spirit Week, so I'll attach those up here. Might be over a span of a few seconds, but at least I'm, I'm showing, right? Uh, as far as the makeup for today, I don't know. And as far as the topic for today, I don't know either. I guess we'll talk about whatever comes to mind. So today, my sister got like her first big acceptance letter for college. And I remember seeing it and being so happy for her because she grinded so much for this. She had did so much just so that she would have the ability to go to college. Because she was mostly homeschooled, unlike me and my brother, because she's um, sicker in nature, right? But I remember seeing it and because she had just got a rejection letter and being so happy for her, right? Because she deserves it. She put in a lot of effort for it. She deserves it. And I remember on the ride home just going... It's kind of crazy because when I called her as soon as I saw it, uh, she had said about how she had two rejection letters. I said I, I thought it was just one acceptance and one rejection. And she said no, it was an acceptance, then two rejections. And she had recorded the rejections, but not the exception, the one that just happened, because she wasn't expecting it. It kind of just happened. So I told her to just, you know, like record it. Um, you're reading it, so I can still see something, right? But here's the thing. I was previously on the phone with my husband, but I had called him back and I started to think to myself after talking to her, thinking to myself, and I don't say this out loud, I've never been rejected. Like, excuse me, I never had that happen to me. Um, when it came to college, I had got accepted into every school I ever applied. And in my mind, I still am always going to get into every school I've ever applied to, right? And the, what, the kicker about this is that I was on my way home and I had told John to go ahead and charge the laptop so that I could check about the whereabouts of my acceptance letter, right? I get this letter in the mail or an email saying like the, they've decided on what they're going to do as far as you being a student at the school that I applied to. I applied to um, U of A and like I'm looking at it now. I am. I'm getting here. I'm seeing my husband. I'm happy. I'm chipper. In my mind, my stuff is settled. It's done. And I open it up and I read it. I'm reading this. I'm thinking that it sounds okay. And then I read it and I see that it says this. Right to inform you. So I'm reading it. John doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know at all. I'm reading it and <laughs> absolutely nothing is coming to my mind. I'm blank. Nothing, nothing is hitting me. Nothing is coming up at all. Nothing, nothing at all, right? And in all truthfulness, I kind of just sat there just in the moment, right there, and thought, like, not it, it is what it is, but I didn't know what to do, so I showed John, right? I'm showing John, and I, uh, <clears throat> and he reads it, and he's like, I'm so sorry, BB. And I can't talk. He asked me to come sit with him and hug him or whatever, but I'm still not talking, right? And it's not that I'm overwhelmed or angry or sad or nothing like that. I'm just in a state of being, just like existing, right? So I immediately start looking for schools, and John thinks I'm panicking, which in a way this can see, be seen as like a form of panicking, but that was not my intention. I just wanted to make sure that I found a school because in my mind, I have a goal a dream that I'm trying to accomplish and I need to get into my master's program. I'm teaching right now, but I don't want to continue teaching. I want to go ahead and go back into school. I'd rather continue my education and then teach at a higher level. But from the way that this was looking, I wasn't going to be able to have that opportunity, right? So I'm looking and John is telling me to stop looking, but in my mind, I'm like, I need to accomplish my goal. I have a plan. I need to do this, right? He ends up talking to me about a little something. And then I decide that, you know, like, I'm just go to my office. But my office is dirty and I know I don't want to be in a, 
a dirty-ish room because that won't help. So I tell him I'm about to go to the front room and he tells me it's a little dirty too. Which, not really, but it is. And so I'm just, I'm a little stumped, right? I sit on down and I, I, I start to process, right? I'm still looking through schools. I'm still doing all this extra stuff, trying to figure out exactly what I want to do or how I'm going to behave about this. Because a lot of schools stop their master's programs or looking for their master's programs around like, you know, December or January. And I don't even know the schools are still accepting people for master's programs right now. But I'm, I'm on it. I don't care. I have a mission. I'm about to get to it. Right. So. I um, I start looking and John comes to me and he starts talking to me and telling me that I should probably like stop or um, do this stuff. But I'm like, I, I have a dream like this is this goes against what I have up there. And I was referring to my vision board like this is going against that. And then John has to remind me and he goes, that is that is not definite. Right. That is a a goal, not exactly a plan. It is an idea, an idealized thing. If things do not go the way that it looks like up there, that does not mean that it's a problem. Those are ideas that you would like. And then it hits me, and he's like, he, he's absolutely right. Like, those are things that I would like, but they're not, they're not definite, you know? Like, these aren't things that are going to happen for sure, for sure. But I'm still looking. He thinks I'm anxious, and I don't feel anxious. I know what anxiousness is feels like in my body i know what depression feels like in my body and he's thinking i'm getting anxious and depressed which i wasn't but the more we talk the more anxious i actually did get i i i started to freak out a little bit more um as we talked and so he decided to not talk and go on to the store because i didn't want to go to the store anymore after reading the decision and i i do understand that anxiousness comes in different formats um the way you react to things you process in different formats so it it does it did look like anxiousness constantly looking at stuff i do realize that it wasn't exactly supposed to be a depression i was just sadder than what i initially looked like but at the same time i started a new book today and i started a book um it's in regards to um emotions right it's called like manage your emotions or something like that if i could take you a picture of it i'll show you it up here but um i wasn't too stressed about it because in my mind i still have a goal i'm gonna find a way around it i'm gonna improvise not just that but i'm not gonna be stressed or too angry or anything like that but i am gonna process my emotions i told him emotions pass and go they are not definite they don't always stay the same but at the same time that could be seen as deflecting <laughs> i wasn't trying to deflect but that's what it could be seen as i think in the long run it was kind of crazy that i thought that that you know like wow i never got rejected just for me to get my first rejection after this um it's the only school i applied to for a master's degree as well too and i think that's what makes it a little um crazier because that was my one and done which is never a good idea I always apply to more places but it was kind of like a yeah this is my for show for show thing and it'll work out and you should never always never put your eggs all in one basket but i did that but long story short i i experienced something there today i i um i felt a new feeling or i realized that i can progress the way that i want to i don't have to stress or worry everything's gonna in my mind everything's still gonna work out yes it didn't go exactly the way that i planned but i will improvise i will adapt everything will be a-okay i'm not gonna stress too much because what's meant for me is meant for me and i'm gonna find my way to it now let's finish this makeup
so thank you all again so much for talking and watching and i'll see you in the next one you know that moment when it's like you look nice enough to where you want to get seen but like you just can't man listen i don't i might not look too nice my hair is not cooperating <laughs> my hair is not cooperating but yeah part of me looks looking nice right now the other part of me is looking like jesus should have been took this wheel <laughs> it is what it is I just put this on for nothing. I recorded a video. Now I gotta take this shit off. Bro, like. Well, let's get to it.